Good morning, Year 2. Welcome to today's maths lesson. So, as I'm sure you know by now, the first thing I would like you to do, please, is to write the date and the skill into your catch-up book. So, the date today is Tuesday the 19th of January 2021, and the skill is to solve multiplication word problems by drawing pictures. So you can pause the video now and write them in your book. Okay, let's recap then. So, Mr. Potato Head has answered the following multiplication number sentences. Do you agree with him? So you don't need to write anything in your book for this. Um, you can talk to your talk partner if you're in school or an adult if you're working with an adult at home today. If you're working on your own through this video, then you can just have a little think and decide to yourself, do you agree with um, Mr. Potato Head? So five times zero equals five. Five lots of zero equals five. Five multiplied by zero equals five. And five equals five times zero. So I want you to pause the video now have a little think. Do you agree with Mr. Potato Head? Are these answers correct? Okay, so hopefully you said, no, I don't agree with Mr. Potato Head. He is wrong because when we multiply a number by zero, the answer is always going to be zero. So well done if you got that one right. Good job. Okay, so today, as the skill suggests, we are going to be solving multiplication word problems by drawing pictures to help us solve them. So the first thing we need to do is remind ourselves how we solve word problems. So we use rucksack um, and um, to any parents or grandparents or adults working with this today, this is something that we've used before that we've talked through. Um, it's just a, uh, a simple way to try and remember how we approach word problems. So we need to first of all read the question and make sure that we understand what the question is asking us to do. So um, is it asking us to look at an individual feature? Is it asking us to look at the whole? Um, so make sure we understand what we have to do. Then C, we choose which operation we need to use for this um, question. So for today's lesson, we know that we're always going to be choosing multiplication because that's our skill today. Then you need to solve the um, word problem. So then you need to think about which method is the best to use. So today we're going to be drawing pictures. That's the method we'll be using today um, to figure out the answer. And then of course, write the answer uh, at the end of the word problem or underneath your working out wherever the um, lesson suggests. And finally, we always need to check our working out, make sure you've done it accurately, make sure you've written the answer accurately and make sure you know you've definitely answered what the question is asking you to do. So that is rucksack. So keep that in mind while you're doing your work today, guys. Okay, first one then. Let's have a go at solving a multiplication word problem together. So you don't need to write anything down for this. We're just going to talk through it. So first of all, we need to read the question carefully to find the key information we need to solve the problem. So, Buzz buys three bags of apples. There are five apples in each bag. How many apples does he buy altogether? So we've read that question and we understand that the question is asking us how many he buys altogether. And we know altogether means the total amount, the biggest number. Um, so we've read and we've understood. Now we need to um, calculate. So we know we're going to be um, choosing the multiplication today. And to solve this one, we are going to use our drawing pictures. So we can draw the apples into the, the bags to solve this, uh, solve this word problem. So we know that we've got three bags of apples. So we've got our three bags here. And in each bag, there are five apples. So we've got five in the first bag, five in the second bag, and five in the third bag. So we've done our method. Now we need to find our answer. So we can use our five times tables. Uh, I've lost my mouse, there it is. So we could say five, 10, 15 apples. So we know that the answer would be 15 apples. He's got 15 apples all together. So of course we can just double check, are all of my groups equal? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, definitely says three bags and it's definitely five in each one. I know it's correct because I've used my five times table. So that is definitely correct. Now I can move on to my next question. Okay, well done if you got that one. I'd like you now to have a little go at this one. Again, you don't need to write anything down. Um, I'm gonna ask you to pause the video in a minute though so you can have a little chat about this one um, before I show you the answer. So let's solve another word problem now. 
Remember, we need to look carefully at the information we've been given to solve the multiplication word problem correctly. Okay, let's read through this. So, Mrs. Potato Head has 10 plates. She has three pairs on each plate. How many pairs does she have altogether? So, we've read through the question. I'd like you to pause the video and double check you understand what is this question asking us to do? What do we actually need to do? Um, so you can talk to your talk partner or your adult, um, or you can just have a little think, what is this question actually asking me to do? Pause the video now, off you go. Okay, so similarly to the question um, before, it's asking us to find the amount she has got in total, what that's that word all together again, it means the big total, doesn't it? So how are we going to work this one out? Well, Mrs. Potato has got 10 plates. I'd like you to pause the video, what do I need to do now? Okay, so um, as the question tells us, the word problem tells us, she needs three pairs on each plate. So this is now when I'm going to draw my three pairs on each plate. So now we are solving it, aren't we? We're using our method, which is our pictures, to solve the answer. Okay, now what do you need to do? Pause the video and see if you can have a go. Okay, so hopefully you know that the next thing we need to do is, of course, find the answer. So um, you could have counted them up in your threes or counted them up individually, whichever you're more comfortable with. And hopefully you have found that the answer is 30. So Mrs. Potato Head has 30 pairs all together. Well done if you got that one, good job. Okay, guided practice time. So this time we are going to write the answer into our books. You don't need to copy the question down if you don't want to. So Rex has seven cakes. He puts two candles on each cake. How many candles are there all together? So again, we've got that word all together. So we know we need to find the total amount of candles that Rex has got on his cakes. So what I would like you to do now, please, is draw the um, candles and the cakes into your book to try and solve this word problem. Once you've done that, you can um, press play on the video and I will talk you through the answer and you can double check you've got it right. If you're still not 100% sure, then you can go back through it with your adult just to see where you made a little mistake. Okay, pause the video, off you go. Okie doke, so we have got seven cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double check you've drawn seven cakes into your book. The question then says he puts two candles onto each cake. So I need to draw two candles on each cake. Double check each candle has got, uh, sorry, each cake has got two candles. So this is when we're checking our answer. You haven't accidentally drawn any more than two or any less than two, or maybe you just missed a cake entirely. So double check that you've got two on each cake. And then we need to find the answer. So you could count in twos to count um, the candles, or we could just count each one individually. I'm gonna count in two, so we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 candles. So Rex has got 14 candles all together. Um, again, just make sure you're checking your answer before you write it down, um, and then you can move on to the next question. Well done. Right, for your independent practice today then, your task is to solve multiplication word problems by drawing pictures, just like we've done together this morning. So top tip, remember to reread the question and check your working out to make sure that you have solved each question correctly. So that is a key part of our rucksack, isn't it? It's to check that you've got it all correct before you move on. Okay, let's have a look at the activities then. So you can choose your challenge. Um, we've got cool, mild, spicy and hot. Um, I'll put all of the links on PDFs under the video on the website if you need them, or you can pause the video and have a look. I'd just like to remind you all, just like in class, you don't need to complete the cool, mild, spicy and hot challenges. Um, so when we're in, at school, we just choose the one that the children feel most comfortable with, the child can choose, it's, it's child-led. Um, if they maybe start on mild and then they feel more comfortable and they want to challenge themselves, they could then move on to the spicy challenge, so they've done maybe two or three questions, or maybe one or two in this case, because there aren't as many um, questions on mild, and then maybe two on spicy. Equally, if they start on spicy and then actually they're not 100% sure, they can then move to mild, but you do not have to complete all four activities. Um, and of course, if you get, you answer three of the questions and then um, the time that you've allotted for this lesson has finished, 
uh, just like when we're in school, we, we, you can stop there. We don't expect you to complete every, uh, every question on every challenge on every lesson. We know that um, you're juggling so much at the moment. Please don't worry if you only get two or three questions done. If maybe you've allowed um, half an hour for this task, then your half hour time's up. Um, then don't worry that you maybe haven't finished it. That's okay. Just like when we're in school, you know, um, if it's playtime or lunchtime, um, we, we will stop the children and then have lunch and that's okay. So please don't panic. Okay, and finally, the spicy and hot challenges are here. So again, you can pause the video and have a look at these um, or you can look at the PDF. It'll be clearer on the PDF um, on the website. Once you have done this activity today, we've got um, a challenge for you, a final thought for you. So again, if you finish your challenge and you've got time to complete those, uh, the challenge, the chili challenge, then that's fine. If you don't get time to do that, that's okay. Uh, please don't panic. Um, just do what's best for you because it's such strange times at the moment. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at your activity today. Finally then, challenge time. So. Your challenge, your chilli challenge for today, is to write down your multiplication word problem um, of your own. So you can create your own word problem, you could maybe take some ideas of the ones that we've already done today, or maybe the ones that you've done in your activity, or you could come up with your own entirely, and then write your sentence of your word problem, and underneath the word problem you can draw your picture showing how it would be solved, so you can have a go at solving it yourself. Um, and of course, look back at the examples you've completed to help you. Our final thought for today then. Marbles come in a bag of 10. Jessie needs 56 marbles to complete her collection. Is she correct? Explain your answer. So, um, Jessie is correct because 6 times 10 is 60. And so she would have more than 56 that she needs. So how many more would she have? Well, she'd have four more marbles, spare, but she'd still have her 56. If she only bought five bags, it would be five times 10, which is 50, and this wouldn't be enough. She'd still need six more. So yes, Jessie is correct in buying six bags of marbles. Okay, well done today, guys. Um, I will see you later for English if you've not done it already. Um, have a lovely day. See you later. Bye.